Hey, what is up everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and this time I will show you 20 city tweaks that are completely free and are compatible with 9.2 up to 9.3.3. Swipey folders. This tweak adds some cool features to the folders on iOS. So you can see right here, the first icon on the folder is the icon of the folder. I can swipe up on the icon to open the folder or I can tap to open the first app on the folder or I can double tap to open the second app on the folder which is pretty awesome. Now to change these gestures you can go to the settings of this tweak, enable it and then here you have all the gestures and you can choose what action you want to do with each gesture. CC Loader, a very useful tweak which allows you to rearrange or enable and disable any of these sections of the control center. As you can see, you can rearrange them any way you like. You can also remove them completely and you can also use dynamic media controls, which means that the media controls will show up on the control center only when you have something playing in the background. Cask, this tweak will add these awesome animations. When you swipe here, as you can see, through the table view when you swipe, it gives you this awesome animation and it has a few different animations. You need to go to settings, go to style here and you have different animations you can pick from. To install this tweak you will need to add a repo which you can find in the description. Fuse. Whenever you're listening to music on your lock screen you will see the controls up here and you will have to tap the home button to see the clock and then tap it again to see the controls but this tweak will add the clock up here and will move the controls down here so you can have both at the same time the clock and the controls of your media. Record pause. What this tweak does is that it allows you to pause while you're recording a video. All you have to do is just tap here. You can see it turns yellow. You can pause and come back again, continue recording and pause again. Very awesome and a very useful tweak. Unlock sound. This tweak brings back the unlock sound to your iOS 9 device. Under the settings of this tweak, you can enable it right here. Then you can pick which sound you want to use as the sound of the unlock of your device. Analog status. This tweak will remove the stock lock from the status bar and will add an analog clock on the status bar on your device. So this tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All it has is a button to enable or disable it. Better shut down. When you press the power button to shut down your device, this tweak gives you more options. As you can see here, you can power off, reboot or respring your device. Breadcrumb 10. This tweak will bring the back button from iOS 10 to iOS 9. So as you might know on iOS 10, the back button right here, it's a little different and this tweak will bring it to iOS 9. Circle icons. This is a tweak for the settings app. As you can see right here, this tweak will make all the icons on the settings app circles. As you can see, it looks pretty awesome. All the icons on the same shape, all circles. Color reachability. This tweak allows you to colorize the reachability view on your device. To do that, you need to go to the settings of this tweak, enable it right here, then go here to tint color and just pick any color you want and set it as the color of the reachability view on your device. Dark CC. This is a simple tweak for your control center. All it does is that it will give your control center a dark mode as you can see it right here. Date in status bar. This tweak will place the current date here on the status bar near the time so you have the time and you have the date here on the left side. To install this tweak you will need to add a repo which I will put in the description of this video. Easy app orientation. This tweak allows you to set different orientations for different apps. So under the settings of this tweak you enable it right here. Then you go to one of the orientations and you choose which app you want to have on which orientation. You can see now I have the calculator on portrait orientation. So if I open the calculator app, you can see I rotate the device, but the app won't rotate on landscape mode. Fake carrier. This tweak allows you to set anything as the name of the carrier on your status bar. So you can see right here, I have written iReviews as the name of my carrier. And you can do that simply by opening the tweak, go here to fake carrier and just enter anything you want. Glow badge. This tweak will replace the stock badges 
with a glow around the icon. As you can see right here on Cydia, I have a badge, but now it has been replaced by this glow around the icon. Now you can change that color by going to the settings of this tweak. Just go here to glow color and you can pick any color you like. And see date customizer. This tweak allows you to customize the date on the notification center of your device. As you can see, you can change the color. You can also change the text alignment here, center, left, all right pretty awesome and you can pick any color you want with these sliders right here photo size what this tweak does is that it will show the size of the pictures when you select them on the photos app you can see right here as i select more pictures it shows how many items have i selected and also it shows the size of all these items sb power alert this tweak will give you detailed information about your device as you can see i double tap on the status bar which is an activator gesture that you will have to set for this tweak any gesture you want and then it will show you all this information you can also go go ahead and reboot your device power off respring go to safe mode and cancel right here share pro this tweak will add this button to your device so it's a floating button you can move it anywhere you want and if you tap it you can go ahead and quickly share anything you want to your social media now if you jump to the settings of this tweak you will have a slider where you can set the transparency of this button and then respring your device for all the changes to take effect so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it for more videos please make sure you subscribe a lot of videos are coming so make sure you subscribe and don't miss any of them also go ahead and follow me on twitter and facebook you can find the links in the description of this video